Hey guys, I hope I have covered all the required topics. Those are required for you to get into the exam and come out successfully. So now in this video, uh, I thought of let me ask some random questions. Okay, whatever comes to my mind, I'll ask few random questions in the upcoming videos, including this one. And you test your knowledge, how much you know, and why are you going for that specific answer? Okay. Your reasoning has to be very strong, right? Why the other options are wrong, why your answer is right. That understanding should be there before choosing an answer. So let me ask you a very simple question. Here on my studio, I have the click activity, click classic activity. And I'm trying to click on a button, okay? So here if you see on the property panel on my screen, nothing is enabled. It is just a default one, okay? Nothing has been changed just as default you can see it, right false false uh, you know not, nothing i have enabled here default one now what would happen if i'm going to select send windows message true and simulate both two what will happen your options are it will walk us send windows message it will walk us simulate click because it has got highest higher priority third it will throw an error. Fourth, both will work. So, what is your right answer? What should be the correct answer for this one? See, will it throw an error or will it work with send windows message or similar clip or both will work? What is the right answer? So, here the okay, ping, ping your you know, comment while you are watching such videos, start commenting what is your answer and see what is the correct answer so the correct answer for this one is it is going to throw an error because you cannot enable both the things any one of them you can enable okay for example if i uh, run this or debug it for example run it okay immediately it's going to throw an error here also in the activity you can see right there was an error enabled only one of the simulate click and send windows message options can be set okay very simple this should be known to you now let me ask you one more question okay okay let me ask you for example i have enabled similar click here what i have enabled similar click here and then i'll go to the project settings in the property panel of the activity similar click has been enabled true okay let's go to the project settings and i'll go to ui automation classic I'll scroll down and I'm going to select uh, mouse events, okay, mouse events. And here I'm going to enable send windows message. So here in the property panel, similar click is enabled. And here what is enabled? Send windows message is enabled. Now tell me if I enable this, will the send windows message will work or similar click will work? What is your answer? The option could be given in any format, but let me know what is the answer here, whether the project settings will work or the activity settings will work here people might get confused during the exam and the question could be from anywhere okay it could be on the browser it could be on um, keyboard events and like this okay any any message will be shown here i'm using a click activity so i'm showing you this it could be a browser it could be anything else all the options that you have but let's a browser right browser also any question could come anywhere from anywhere but you should know how it works doesn't matter what what is shown to you in the exam if you know how it works then you will always choose the right answer so tell me here which one will work type your comment type in the comment so the correct answer for this is it's going to work as per the activity property it is going to work as per the activity property not the project settings property if something is enabled if you leave it blank then that will work if you leave it you are not making any modifications it is as per the default property of the activity default property is there then project settings will work if you are enabling something by coming here you are changing the default value right so i am making it similar to so this will take this will work okay this will work. so it comes in any different format in the in your exam in, with any of the option that i have shown you you should be able to answer so where you see this documentation i will quickly quickly help you with the required documentation okay so look at this uh, if you go to 
configuring activity project settings if you type this ui path then you will find this document here i have hi clearly highlighted if in the same project one activity has a browser type so they are giving an example of browser okay browser type property set to chrome you are setting the property to chrome in the properties panel of the activity then the value set in the panel in the property panel overrides any other value configured in the activity project settings activity project setting project setting means that one activity property means one so what what would override that means what is going to work chrome is going to open so you can easily test that for example let me delete this activity and let's use a open browser activity open browser classic activity i'm using okay so here open browser let's say i am going to select what i am going to select here chrome what i have selected here i have selected chrome okay now i will go to project settings and in the project settings ui automation classic browser and here in the run value i am going to set it to uh, uh, let's say edge okay i am setting it to edge and clicking on okay now it will open in edge when you run it or will it open in chrome when you run it so what is going to take effect whatever you have set it in the activity property will take effect so here i am selecting chrome okay so let's open something google.com okay now to open google.com so now so here as we saw it is set to chrome let me run it so will it open in edge as per the project settings or will it work as per the activity so just remember if you are setting anything the default value if you are changing the property panel the property panel will always work you can see which browser has opened google chrome has opened for me okay okay you can test it on your own so this is the google chrome actually okay this is the google chrome profile so google chrome has opened for me okay so always the activity properties activity uh, uh, property panel if you are changing the default value if you have not changed the default value you remember right this open browser has the default value of i always it will open in i if you are not changing anything here okay i think the i is got decommissioned so check that okay so remember if you are changing the value here in the property panel always the property panel will take action not the project settings this is the key point to remember any question comes you should be able to answer so let's move on to our next video to see what question i would come with and how you can answer that thank you guys